My first experience with cancer was in 1999 when I was diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer. In my experience, I felt almost isolated when I, when I heard my diagnosis. I had, had never expected to have cancer. I didn't know anybody who had, a, had cancer like I did. Um, kind of felt all alone. And uh, it, it got me thinking how important it was to have somebody else to talk to, to share with. I had already been wanting to find some kind of a group of guys that were going through the same experience that I had uh, have already had. And was encouraged to, to go ahead and start one. So I put a poster up in the uh, waiting room of the radiation center and uh, met many of the men that were there going through similar treatments that I was experiencing. Often, we'll have a man who is newly diagnosed and he's coming for the same reason I would have come back in 1999 to find out, you know, what is this about? How do I make the decisions on treatment? Who can help me? What, what do I expect? My other support uh, has come from the medical community and the clinical team that uh, at Allegiance, and that has been awesome. Right now, my, my tumor is what they call stable. Uh, it doesn't seem to be growing uh, in the last two scans that I've had, and uh, there is no evidence of metastasis. And so it was felt that it would be appropriate for me to stop treatments for two months and uh, be reevaluated after that. So it's a vacation for us in a very real sense of the word. Now, since I'm a retired teacher, I'm used to summer vacation. Uh, but this is a special one. Uh, we're not making trips for chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, our time is free. So we're going to, um, we're heading up to, in fact, Sunday, we're leaving to head up to North Michigan to visit one of our favorite places, Interlochen Music Camp, where we spent our honeymoon 51 years ago. And on my bucket list is to see another Lake Michigan sunset, so we'll be, we'll be doing that as well. We'll stay there until we get a good sunset. <laughs> and um, just being together, sitting on the, on the porch under the shade of the tree, uh, listening to the bird songs in the morning together is um, it's a vacation in itself. <laughs>